Silver City is no longer one of our state's best kept secrets. While it has long been the gateway to one of New Mexico's most beautiful wilderness areas, it is only recently that Silver City's culinary scene has started drawing even more people to this small town. Yes indeed, Silver City has become a mecca for foodies, and I'm about to find out why. I head to Diane's Bakery, practically a Silver City institution. Classically trained in Europe and New York, Diane brought her culinary skills to Silver City, and it wasn't long before her bakery's success led to the opening of a full-scale restaurant across the street. Before that, in my career, I was doing, I was with the Ritz and Stouffer's in Hawaii, and then I uh, was with the El Dorado Hotel pastry chef up, up in Santa Fe. But then, I don't, I don't know, it's something about living in the big city, the quality of life. But I uh, arrived here overqualified and nobody would hire me, so hence I opened a bakery. And then I did well enough that I begged my son Bodhi, who was then living in Maui as a chef, to join me here and help me out. So the business has just kind of kept growing. Well, we're a family. Both of the boys bake. Mm -hmm. So we can all pretty much do any job here. Right. Because as restaurant owners, we've found that psh, you don't know, you have to be ready. Totally. to do whatever comes at you. Oh, get out of here. That should be a sin. That is beautiful. Se oh, magnifica. There's our chocolate cake. Oh. Bodhi walks me over to Diane's restaurant across the street, and I am equally impressed by what I'm seeing in this kitchen. It's not even noon, and I'm already invited to sit down at the family table. Food hospitality at its finest. Now I'm going to eat all this food, okay? <laughs> Just as her baking became the foundation of Diane's restaurant, so too did Diane become a pioneer of the Silver City food scene. After breaking ground in the culinary world of Silver City, Diane paved the way for new kids on the block, Trey Rosa. Owners King Crowder and Lila Adrian are transplants from the West Coast. And with their executive chef, Sean Bird, they bring a fresh taste to Silver City. Fusing together French, Italian, and Asian influences, another word for their new American cuisine would be eccentric. The team works together like a well-oiled machine to bring their delectable dishes to the masses. We're talking serious numbers here, folks. I didn't even realize this many people lived in Silver City. So it seems like there's a dynamic back there in the kitchen. What, what, what do you think makes a good team to be able to pump out all this food? Good leadership. Like our kitchen's based on a brigade. Everybody knows what they're supposed to do. And you can see it's almost like an orchestrated dance between it's, you and it's, it's, it's very much organized chaos. <laughs> and for most people, they would just see it as chaos, but it is, it is a dance. Yeah, it Once is. things quieted down, I also had the chance to talk to King. Coming from Los Angeles and Lila's coming from New York City, we wanted uh, to bring the big city to the small town. There's things that we can't get, like the Korean barbecue, the hogi uh -huh. hogi. You can't get that unless you go into a bigger city. Right. And that's, you know, we wanted mm -hmm. it here. Silver City feeds their soul. You just want to stay. Mm -hmm. I think King is on to something. After all, how else can you explain such a collective amassing of exceptional chefs in this little pocket of New Mexico? <laughs> Now that your stomach is grumbling, here's some tips for planning your Silver City dining experience. Each of these wonderful restaurants may be found on Silver City's Main Street, Bullard Street. While Diane's Bakery is the only spot open at 7 a.m. for the breakfast rush, all of the restaurants we feature do both lunch and dinner. These are popular restaurants in town, so consider making a reservation 